someone had a meme out that, that said about the everyone's quarantined, so in nine months there's going to be a new generation of Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Coronials. That's what they Coronials. Said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make light of the fact that this, you know, uh, of the situation that we're in, but that's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Hashtag Sports. So, ah, okay. I knew you were going to do it too. Fair, fair, fair point. <laughs> fair point. <laughs> Paul. Yes. I would like to discuss with you if you had your particular wish list of free agents. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, hashtag nation, put them in, put them in the chat and Paul will respond to all of them. Oh God. Here we go. Yeah. Not like I don't have any time on my hands. Right. I got, I got all the time in the world. Yeah, you do. So does everybody else. <laughs> Right we're gonna now. we're gonna assign some of you to actually respond to some of the comments. <laughs> Here's the deal. Put down in the description before we get into the episode. Uh, what is your free agent wish list? Could be anybody. Could be a lineman. Could be a running back. Could be a wide receiver. Yep. Right now, going into the, the draft, there's less than a month. Mm -hmm. Okay, before the draft, who is one or two players, uh, offensively and defensively, that would be on your wish list? Personally. Uh oh. Are we doing one, one, and one here? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. That's, that's usually how the episodes go. All right, we'll, that's fine. We'll find it somewhere. I like I like the idea I like the idea of Freeman. Mm -hmm. um, wide receivers out there. Um, I don't think I think you're set right now at the wide receiver position. You could probably take a flyer on a six rounder. Yeah, well, they still don't have that height factor, but the Bills don't seem to be in any way no, concerned about no. that. No, because what you in, in this offense in particular is what you need is a route runner. Right. You need crisp route runners that can right. get in and out of cuts so right. Allen can make those reads Agreed. In, in the time that he has to make them. That's Agreed. Fine. Uh, my free agent wish list, and I actually got um, I had a back and forth on Twitter, you know me. Um, the Adrian Waddle. Yeah, I mean, is a free agent right now. Give me some Le Adrian Waddle. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think he could... Just because of the timing of it, because I don't think he's going to get signed right away. Right. By the time this comes out, he could have been signed. But I think he's going to be your Quentin Spain for 2020. Like, he's out on the market. Missed Nobody the whole touches him. season. And that's one of the reasons why he might not get signed is because teams are going to want to check the medicals. And the only team with the medicals is going to be Buffalo. Buffalo. Right. And, but who needs help right now severely is... Da, 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 da. He just signed in Tampa. Who needs help down there? Tom Brady. Oh, yeah. Okay. That line needs help. Mm -hmm. I mean, Big they got time. Donovan Smith on the left side. They sh they Big sheared time. him up last year. However, Waddle is, has the ability to play both tackles. Right. So if Brady gets in Arians' ear and says, hey, we should sign this guy. He's not signed yet. That's the thing that I'm worried about, although it's a little bit of a stretch. I understand. Mm -hmm. But I would love to see Waddle on this team next year. Putting Waddle or signing him mm -hmm. would be the equivalent of Yeldon last year because then you didn't you didn't know if the There's Bills no, were going to draft right. him. Right. There's no long-term investment. He can play if he needs to. And free Jamarca at left tackle or the tackle position as a whole is kind of scary when it's Trying Jason up. Peters, Cordy oh, Glenn. God, like, stop me if you've heard this before. If, right? Well, what Greg the, Robinson. Like, those are your tackles. Well, like, is he, though? No, is he's, he not, he's not really. A he's blocking cell block C at this point. <laughs> Can you imagine Peters and Glenn coming back? No, no. I don't think Jason Peters or Cordy Glenn want anything to do with Buffalo. I can't think of Jason Peters without thinking of the scooter, the $2 million lawsuit that he got for the scooter that he Yeah, broke. that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He won a lawsuit because of his, <laughs> his uh, knee rolling scooter after one of his surgeries snapped. Gee, I wonder why. That's so funny. You have Naseki. You have Ford. Yep. For all, that's where they want to put him. Okay. Yep. We could speculate about him at guard. They want him at tackle. Yep. And you have Dawkins. Right. Neither one which are signed long term yet. Right. Okay. You have to draft to cover yourself, which Bean has been very good at covering himself. Sure. If you sign Waddle or any of these other free agent guys. Right. And then you go and you draft one, you're covering yourself for at least the next two right. or three years. Yeah. Okay, because, you know, Niseki's going to be 35, 36. Um, Waddle is young. 
he could still play. Um, and then we, if it's almost like drafting a corner in, in case you, you don't get to resign Trey. Right. So yeah, and that's a realistic possibility. Yes. You know, you really got to look at that long term because outside of Trey, Norman's on a one. Uh, Wallace is on that restricted tag, so he's going to be here another year. He'll be he's here just for not a, a series of one. Want, yeah. He's just not a series of one-year deals. Uh-huh. There's no real long-term answer at cornerback right now. They resign Marlowe. Re-sign Trey. It's your boy, your boy <laughs> Dean Marlowe. Well, give me your wish list then, because I told you mine. I would like the Adrian Waddle to be here. Right. Uh, it, it, it's just there's something of why you kept the guy on the team the entire year when you could have released him on an injury settlement. Mm-hmm. So they, they see something, but they haven't signed him yet, which means have they seen enough like in his rehab or something? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I, I feel you there. Okay. I feel you. Okay, so that was the Adrian Waddle. That's one. Yes. You didn't give me any others, right? Uh, well, Freeman. We were talking about Freeman. We already talked about oh, yeah, Freeman. Freeman now. Okay. But I just like it from the standpoint is if you sign like two or three more guys at different positions, mm-hmm. you're not tipping your hand at the draft at all. Right. Even though – the first time you pick is 54. No one will know where you're going at 54. Right. All right. Well, they signed this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Are they actually going to draft that position Well, exactly. Again? No. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. So, familiar name. Okay. Come on. You know where I'm going with this one. Familiar Stop name. It. Don't. Very familiar name. Receiver? No. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if you brought up Devin Funches again, I'm opening that door and no, pushing you out. No, Devin Funches is on my, is on my, please, you know, break glass in case of emergency <laughs> board. Like, I swear if to every God. other wide receiver with a pulse has been signed and Devin Funches is still out there, I'm just I saying, suppose he can play in Buffalo. I'm just saying, if you were going to mention Devin Funches, I was opening that door and enacting my social distancing. <laughs> Nigel Bradham. <laughs> I'd bring back Nigel Bradham in a heartbeat. Stop it. I would. Stop I it. I would. From speed alone. I'm, I'm getting, I'm bringing out the He game. had to learn what a cutback lane is by now. Still. It's been years. Still. He has to you know, know what? what? It is by Trent now. Richardson should know how to pick up a block by now. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't happened. No. Yeah. I, again, but, you're looking at somebody who uh, is, you know, the Eagles kept him around for a long time. They really liked him. I think he brings, again, speed, experience. Yes, you have A.J. Klein, but the yeah. fact still remains that A.J. Klein's a great signing, but I don't think that position is protected enough yet, right? So I'm still thinking Nigel Brown makes a lot of sense. No, if, say you're the gonna, if you're going to bring in one or two, a guy on a one- or two-year deal. If you're going to say the line, say the line. What? You said you talked about A.J. Klein, but your next line is always, well, rosters are at 90 you right. can bring I him mean, in. You can bring him in. Uh, <laughs> bring him in. How much are you signing him for? Because that's always the next question. Right. For Waddle, I would still put Waddle on a three-year deal. Uh, Brad, um, two for seven. Ooh, that's not. It's not. He doesn't make a lot of money. Is Preston Brown still out there? Not that I'm aware. No. Of. Not that I'm aware. Of. All right, next guy up. An oldie but a goodie. Wait, Nigel Brad. <laughs> I got an oldie but a goodie. Oh. And you're going to understand why in, in a heartbeat. Oh, sweet. Kiko? No, Kiko. Only full jerseys. We wear caps and <laughs> sleeves in this league, son. He oh, told us you're God. a pitcher. You're sure not much of a dresser. <laughs> <laughs> nice catcher. He's don't ever do it again. <laughs> Lou Brown, at some point in your life, Lou Brown was your spirit animal. Every sports fan, at some point, you were Lou Brown. You mean Rick Vaughn? I know he's had a trouble against this guy, but I got a hunch he's due. All right. All right, go ahead. I'm bringing this guy in only because the defensive end position you've addressed a little bit, right? You've addressed the position a little bit. I am a little worried about Trent Murphy's injury history, and I want another veteran because that's what this team does, is they just bring in veterans. You're going to hate this name. That's why I haven't drank my coffee. Yeah. I'm terrified. I would bring in, on a one-year deal, Cameron Wake. On a one-year. He's a role player. He's going to be he, – you can put him down at defensive. You can put him down at tackle rotation. You can put him at end. He can cover a bit. 
like, I look at it this way. Again, rosters are at 90. It's not a guarantee he's even going to make the team. But for rotational depth, I have no problem with Cameron Wake. I would trust Cameron Wake in pretty much any scenario. Trying to digest this really quick. Okay. Because what you say is very true. Mm -hmm. You know, if if you're bringing in a rotational player, you're paying him or Brad Amore. Right. Who are you paying Um, more? Oh, no, you pay Brad Amore. Okay. Yeah, Cameron Wake is a $2 million deal. Like, that's... One year, two mil? One year, two mil. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, God. Well, it's, it's, it's hard to... It's hard to say that because you've already given... It seems like your defensive line rotation is already set mm-hmm. at this point. Bringing yeah. him in does not hurt for a two-year deal. Bringing him in uh, with, like we said, rosters at 90, not, it's not hateful. I just don't know if the name is bigger than the guy at this point. Well, if his Nick Cameron, you say Cameron Wake, and I was like, oh. Well, is his I understand game it's still, not 2007. I understand right? that. Yeah. yeah, it's not 2007. It's a long time ago. But the fact still remains that you lost Shaq Lawson. You replaced him with Mario Addison. Yes. Right? But where else was your defensive end presence? Who were your defensive ends last season? You're not going to bank on Daryl Johnson. You can't. Right? Well, we don't know what happened with the kid in the offseason. If you put on 15 pounds, it's a lot different. Right. No, no, no. I agree with you. I'm just saying that this team has proven that they, the only position that they're ever okay going thin is apparently linebacker. Because they never sign linebackers, right? I think so, they realized something, though, last year with, with what they did with Milano and Edmonds all, nearly playing 100% of mm-hmm. all the snaps. Yep. It's a big deal. Yeah. It's they You run out of juice yep. at the end of the season. Mm-hmm. So that's why you get a Klein. That's why right. you get uh, McKavich or whatever, McTavich. Tyler, yeah. Um, Tyler. Even though he's a special teams guy. That's why you bring back um, – Dean Marlowe to mm-hmm. play that big nickel for you, about five snaps a game. You know, if you're going to do it, right? It's not. It's not. It's not hateful what they're trying to do, but they they do know that they need more depth at that position, right? And again, Cameron Wake isn't stopping you from drafting anybody. No, he's not. You know, no. he's not. That's, stop thing, that's a great thing about. That. That's the one thing I think people need to realize that certain signings will prevent you from drafting that position. Sure. Yeah. You sign. Wake you doesn't. sign Amari Cooper. It stops you from drafting another wide receiver because. Well, Diggs. You end up giving that right. pick because right you gave that pick up right that's yeah that's a great example yeah instead yeah. of drafting you gave the pick up to sign somebody yeah do you have one more no I don't okay I didn't have another one I was like, I, I I looked at it and then I was like you know Freeman and Waddle mm-hmm. because I don't know what else you could do on the defensive side of the ball that you haven't done already right. You went heavy in the mm-hmm. defense this offseason. Yep. Big time. So big um, time. I just like the the idea of nastiness that they're gonna inject into this team. Sure. I'm really excited to see that. Sure. I um You hear anybody else? Who else is on there? Who's intriguing on there? Well, I mean there's names, right? But a lot of times those names cost a little bit more money than you're really, you know, willing to give up. There's yep. no wide receivers that are, are, are of any interest. Defensive tackle I think you're not really interested in. Nope. Defensive end I still think you're looking for one. Um God, linebacker Brad, you're probably still looking for Brad, one. I'm so intriguing, dude. No, I just think mm-hmm. about it. Yep. Yep. Um okay, I got one more. Okay. Are you ready? Nope. I would obviously release Lee Smith. Obviously. Obviously, release Lee Smith. Um, I know you have Jason Kroom, who's still on the team. Tweener. Right. And I know this guy is old, but wouldn't you think that Delaney Walker would be a better fit in the tight end room than Lee Smith? Don't you think Delaney Walker could teach Dawson Knox and Sweeney more than Lee Smith? I know you have Tyler Cross still, so I mm-hmm. guess it's probably a, probably a moot point. Probably a wash. Yeah, it's probably a wash. Yeah, that's a bad one. That's a wash because Delaney Walker's like 35. Yeah, yeah. So I think if you got Croft, you have Walker already. Well, you That have, one's kind of a wash. You have a gap where – here's what we said. Because two years ago we talked about when Kyle Williams was leaving, mm-hmm. who's going to be the leader? Because you knew that Kyle Williams was the unquestioned guy that everybody went to. Sure. The veteran yep. mobile. Yep. The next year it was man of the year um, nominee. Right. So, you know what I mean? 
now that he has gone, you're gonna ex you're gonna have a couple other young of these younger guys that are gonna step up to be leaders. But who ends up taking the mantle of the leader? Right. In that in the old the veteran, you know, blah blah blah. Right. Or is not there. Right. Um. So, who's gonna be that guy? Mm -hmm. If you wanted to sign a Walker, I don't know much about his leadership because I, I yeah. don't hear many he's bad just a, things about him. He's just him. in Tennessee forever. I know. So they went I through a bunch that. of coaches. So. Yeah. So he knows how to deal with different regime changes and coaching staffs and all that stuff. If you wanted to do it because of that one year, $3 million, I don't care. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I just don't, as far as on the field stuff, you know I'm all about releasing Lee Smith. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I got one more. Who's that? I can't believe you didn't say this name. I probably, I'm, you know, I'm all over the place. Well, we talk about Big Nickel, right? Ooh, that Big Nickel, man. That Big Nickel. Stop it. I what? know who it is. Who? Because you mentioned it uh, earlier. I might have. Who? Mark Barron? Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't talk about Mark Barron. Mark Barron is like the, is like, is like the unicorn, right? Because he was, he was originally a safety, right? Yes. And then everybody realized he couldn't cover anybody. At all, he couldn't is, cover, couldn't read the, coverage. He's the quintessential. So big nickel. he's the quintessential big nickel because you don't, you're not, you don't want him to cover. He's just a really small linebacker. That's what he is. He's I a really small linebacker. I do it. Yeah. Sam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mark, uh, Barron. Mark Barron's not a bad one. Well, not he, a bad one. He's you're been, not asking to cover though. He's been through a few teams. Mm -hmm. Well, because his role is really limited. I mean, he's a situational player. Of course, he's going to roll. He had the most success in, uh, I believe, in LA. Yep. Uh, you know, he's a Bama guy who was at safety, but then he was too big for a like you said, too big for safety, too small for a linebacker. You know, where do we put him? Mm -hmm. He's not as fast as Tyron Matthew. Mm -hmm. Nope. What are we going to do? Uh, I like Barron, but I've always been partial to those Alabama secondary guys because they're freaks. Right. But I don't know for the right price, he could be had. Mm -hmm. I, he was completely forgettable, though. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> too bad. Very forgettable. <laughs> too bad. Mark Barron. Yeah. Five years ago, I would have said definitely. No question. But now, nah. Really? Nah. Yeah, I, he's a, okay. If they you're, sign, excited, you're excited about Dean Marlowe, but you wouldn't be excited about Mark Barron? Oh, my God. Dean Marlowe has been in the system. He knows what's asked of him. He's he's come back on, on all these one-year deals and everything. So, yeah, well, it's... It's at, it's at that point now. It's at the Star Latula Lay Dean Marlowe point where those guys are my favorites. Now. You're like, I'm no longer I'm no longer objective about this, Paul. I can't be Stop objective asking about me those questions. Guys. No. Stop asking me questions about, about why I love them so. Like I can't if I had to pick who you loved on the team, I don't I don't know who I would pick. No? I don't know who I would pick. Because AJ McCarron's gone. Zay Jones is gone. <laughs> yeah, my my list isn't a good one, is it? <laughs> it's not really a kiss of death. <laughs> like, oh, Paul loves this guy. Fourth round. <laughs> they traded for a fourth rounder. Released. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, but I... Uh, mm, mm, yeah, yeah. Shmay, shmay. Oh, I love shmay, shmay. 